Welcome fossil friends. We are at the Alberta Fossil Family Amylite Mine and I have two special guests, some up and comers in the ammonite industry and the mineral, in mineral industry for that matter. And we are hunting for ammonites. And Reese, Rock Wrangler Reese, has stumbled on something really cool. Look at this. We're just, we're fossil hunting. So how did you find this Reese? which the shelf is full of concretions that are broken down. And so I was walking along and I suddenly came across this little spot here of ammonite dumb stone. Okay, so after you found the concretion, so now what is the first step? You've uncovered the first one. And so now, now what do we need to do, Reese? We need to flip it to see if there's dumb stone on the other side. Well, okay, let's, I like it. Let, let's flip it over. Let, let's flip everything over here. Rub it in. Oh yes, nice. And why does that piece look like that, as opposed to solid amylite, Reese? Well, because some of the amylite turned into calcite from the sun because this is all on the surface. And so when the sun hits it, some of the amylite decomposes because of the um, sun hitting hitting it, and then it turns into calcite. And that calcite layer comes off, and then what's left is just the matrix. Well, once you found the concretion and you've removed all the surface pieces, what is the next step, Reese? You want to dig because sometimes what's on top is not all. What's on the bottom nice. is the leftovers. Let's go get it! Yeah. Every single scoop that Kyla takes could actually be another concretion. Oh, nice. There's more color. Could be another concretion right underneath that with every single step. And what, what we're looking for, we're looking for more color, of course. But we're also looking for Kyla just to hit a thump. And that's going to be a concretion which is going to freak us all out. Lots of fun. Oh, we can. I can see a few more. Let's get them. Let's get them. Right there, right behind you. Right behind you, right there. Let's get them. Flip them over. They're hiding on us. Oh. Is there color on it? That's color. Oh, here's some water. Here's some water. Put some water on it. Oh, here we go. Okay. There's another piece here as well. Reese is the wow. first person in the world to touch these fossils. Oh, look at the flash. That is surface analyte. Amazing. As you can see, we got our work cut out for us. We're going to get going and keep on digging. Right there. Yep. Oh, there is color on it. Oh, there is color. Get some water. You got to crack it. Oh, yes. Dump some water on it. That's it. it Just here. along the ridge top there. You got it. You take your time. It's not going anywhere. You found it. That's the hard part. This is the fun part. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at the colors. It's almost like crayon with Jasper. Oh, here. Tap it here. here. Oh, color. Okay. Oh, yeah, there is color there. Pour some water on it. Let's check it out. Oh, that's good. Let's some, see that. Some blues, some purples. <laughs> nice job, Reese. This is what it takes. <laughs> this is what it takes. This is get the shovel. Oh, I like, I like it. Nice job, Reese. We don't give up. We don't give up. We dig, we dig for hours until we find that fossil, Reese. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I've sent them out fossil hunting. You know what? What you guys need to do for me is that you guys need to look up and pay attention to the Dusty Compass Museum in Liebenthal, Saskatchewan. I'll tell you, Reese, she is amazing. She is such a hunter. Uh, they've been out here all day. They found so much stuff. Their attention to detail uh, and the talent that they have, I'm telling you, you have to check out the Liebenthal, in Liebenthal, Saskatchewan, the Dusty Compass, Super Mom Kyla and Super Builder Kent. I'm telling you, this family is the real deal. You got to check them out. Stay tuned for more.